Hello everybody, welcome back to my channel again. It's been a while again since I've made another video. I've been pretty busy with work. That's really all that's been important. But anyways, welcome back. And I wanted to talk about the, I want to say final conclusion, but if I say that, then something else is going to happen. You know how it is with the world a lot of times. Um, so you're probably wondering what I'm talking about here. Well, what I'm talking about is two things. The first news, which is actually good news, believe it or not, is that the good news is that Johnny Depp won the case at court that's been going on for like six weeks during the Amber Her versus Johnny Depp trial. That is the good news. I'm glad that an actual victim actually finally won and that victim is actually a man that's finally taken seriously. Now, here's the bad news. The bad news is Amber Heard's attorney, Elaine, I can't really quite remember her last name, um, she kind of looks like this. I, I'm just going to call her by her first name. So, her attorney, Elaine, is the one that's shooting herself on the foot lately in interviews and saying that it's a back step against women who are abused when that was never the case with Amber Heard, okay? I'm going to make that very clear right there, right now. Um, the bad news is... Amber Heard's attorney, Elaine, um, was interviewed recently. I saw it on Twitter, like, not too long ago. I already posted my rant about it. I commented about it on Twitter. If you want to, um, see the screenshots here. That's pretty much how I felt. If you guys don't know, this legitimately made me angry because here we thought Johnny Depp was finally going to, you know, settle. He's finally going to, you know, um, not have to deal with Amber Heard anymore. But that's not the case entirely because now Amber Heard wants to appeal the 10... Over $10 million she is forced to pay for um, damages towards Johnny Depp. So, in other words, it's just Amber Heard's way of saying, I'm a fucking coward. I'm not going to pay for anything. So, he's on his fucking own. Fuck him. That's... That's the vibe I got from it. I don't know about you guys. I don't know really anything about legal terms or anything that much. But I do know that was a very cowardly thing for Amber to do. And she was already shown to be a coward throughout the entire trial. And knowing what kind of person she is. But it only gets worse with her attorney, Elaine. Now, Elaine, I don't know exactly her background. Um... Uh, whether she was already a bad attorney or a good attorney, but this pisses me off for multiple reasons. One, I still remember the interview she did. I think it was with NBC or ABC. Hearing on the Today Show, the lawyer said outright that Amber just doesn't have the money to pay the judgment. Is she able to pay a $10.4 million judgment? Oh, no, absolutely not. There is talk that Amber will have to declare bankruptcy, but it may not do any good. Amber Heard doesn't have the option of bankruptcy here because these were willful, intentional Torts. This was intentional defamation, and that forestalls this judgment from being written off in bankruptcy. But anyways, um, I remember, though, while watching the interview, I was angry because she was saying that this was a step back towards women, towards victims. I want to mention right away, and I mentioned on Twitter, if this is a fucking step back. Why did the women who were abused themselves from whether it was an abusive husband or fiance or boyfriend, why did they come out and said they were on Johnny's side then? I, I would like to know that, Elaine. 
Uh, did you not look at that? I mean, I, I'm i assuming you did and you just, you left it out on purpose. I know you're getting paid by Amber Heard to say all the things that Amber wants you to say, but really? And plus, not only that, during the interview, uh, what, another thing that pissed me off is that she compared, um, the whole trial of what was going on to the Roman Colosseum in Italy. I'd like just to say that if you look it up on Google with the entire history of it, that's a fucking insult, okay? I said it on Twitter again. The Roman Colosseum, seriously? Like, what? A am I the only one that's commented how fucking insult? That's an insult to Italian culture right there. Like, you want to really go there, Elaine? You really want to fucking go there when it comes to Amber Heard versus Johnny Depp? No, I I'm not doing it. And most of us, I know, would not do something like that. And another thing that also really made me angry about Elaine's interview lately was also saying that not only was this a step back for women who are coming out that is being abused, but also Amber was also going to appeal and that she doesn't want to pay. Which, again, I just mentioned that, in my opinion, it's just Amber Way, way saying, no, I'm not going to pay him a dime. But, you know, the judge ordered her to do that. And even if she doesn't, and technically, she could be breaking the law already. As if she already wasn't by domestic abuse and verbal abuse she was already doing with Johnny Depp, but again, I mentioned in my last video, just double standards towards men is just different than if it was women over here when they get abused. It's already fucked up as it is. And listen, I know Elaine is an attorney. She's paid to say all the things she wants to, but at the same time, it, it almost, when I was looking at the entire interview, too, it, she actually almost believes it, too, exactly. It's not even just what Amber's wanting her to say, but also, it's Elaine honestly believing exactly what she thinks, too. If you really think about it, Amber and Elaine are kind of like two pieces in a pod, really, because why else is... Amber not fired her pretty much. Luckily, I've never gone to the point of hiring an attorney or really gotten to the court system, but I know one of my favorite YouTubers, Repsion, definitely has. And actually, he brought up a good point by saying this in his video recently. See? Now she's claiming that the jury is all corrupt because of social media, instead of blaming the responsibility on your client for lying. He sits there in her cradle of clout, misrepresenting evidence for the favor of her client, even now, after it's done. It's not why you were against cameras because of the sensitive nature of this. You were against cameras because you didn't want to be called out. Your mental mind fuckery that you played in this trial, in your terrible attempts to discredit people who had evidence of the contrary of what you were claiming. How Elaine can sit there and still try to manipulate people who are survival survivors of DV, attempt to make people feel guilt and sorry for Amber after the fact. I think that Elaine forgot what the job of the jury is supposed to do. Examine the weight of the evidence and find what is credible and what isn't, and that's exactly what they did. The outcome of this defamation case is a win for women and men, regardless of gender, because hashtag abuse holds no gender. The only person who ever demonized herself was Amber Heard. The only one who destroyed their own credibility was Amber Heard. The only person who victimized themselves <laughs> was Amber Heard. So, yeah, pretty much exactly how I felt. And, you know, it's just... I would just like to have a message to Amber. If you're watching as Amber Heard, which you're probably not, but if you are, by that one small percent chance, fucking give up, okay? Quit controlling Johnny Depp. Quit controlling his finances. Leave his family alone. Fuck off. That's really all I have to say. There uh, there really isn't much I have to say too much on Elaine because she already pissed me off on that interview. That already pissed me off as it was. And there's really not much I could say. I hope you guys at least learned something because I know one thing I definitely learned is that Amber Heard is one of those people who will just never give up when she doesn't get her way until it's too late. If the judge does see sees what she's done. I hope she gets criminally prosecuted, but again, I don't work in the legal system. 
I don't know exactly how it works all the time, but I, I just know that, and I know socially Amber Heard is just really not well liked. Anyways, guys, I hope you enjoyed the video, and my next video is actually gonna be on a celebrity I really looked up to, especially back in high school, that's getting false accusations against him from Twitter, and I'm gonna defend it on my next video. <laughs> Make sure to subscribe to my channel if you like my content. If you like any of my videos, don't forget to uh, like my videos you like to, <laughs> if that made any sense. And you can share my content if you like any of it. So I'm still planning on making more art. Um, I know I'm still working on it on June, but more than likely July is going to be more of a busy month for more content and art for me. So... Oh, and speaking of which, just a short announcement, just a one quick announcement before I finally leave. I am making a new avatar for my channel. I'm also making a new banner and all of that. And it's not only going to be on my YouTube channel, but also my other social media. So be on the lookout for that. And it more than likely will not come out until July. So thank you all for watching. I'll see you guys next time.